So this is the aortic ultrasound scan. So we're going to have the patient lie in a supine position with the legs flexed to relax the abdominal musculature. We're going to be using a phase array probe on the abdominal setting. So in order to assess for the aorta, the indicator is going to be towards the patient's right side. You want to start as epigastric as possible towards the subxiphoid area and get a transverse view of the aorta. So the key structures to identify for the aortic scan is looking for the spine shadow, which is identified here. And the aorta is a pulsatile structure right above the spine, uh, right to the, to the right of the spine on our image and to the left of the patient. So here we see the aorta pulsating. And the proximal aorta, you can identify the celiac artery as it branches out into the splenic and hepatic artery, creating what they call a seagull sign. You can see that on this patient here, the seagull sign. All right. And this is the proximal aorta. And you want to measure three portions of the aorta, both the proximal, the mid, and the distal. So we're going to go to the mid now as you come down. And what you're noticing what I'm doing is I'm putting a lot of pressure on to get to kind of part the bowels to, in order to get the view of the aorta. And as you see, as I put less pressure on, you can't really see the aorta. And when I put more pressure on, the aorta comes into view better. Here. Okay. And as we go, even, this is the mid portion of the aorta. And as we go even further down towards the umbilicus, the aorta, this is the distal portion of the aorta. And we have to decrease our depth because it's very superficial at this portion. And you can see that the bifurcation of the aorta at this point. Here it bifurcates. Here is the aorta, and it bifurcates into the iliac arteries. Another view of the aorta you can do is after you get the transverse view, here you can turn it 90 degrees clockwise, the probe, and get a long axis view of the aorta. So here, we see the aorta in long axis with the celiac uh, branch as well as the SMA coming off the aorta. And when you're measuring the aorta, remember to measure outer to outer, looking for abdominal aortic aneurysm. Other pathology you can see in this view is aortic dissection, type B aortic dissection, as it dissects down into the aorta.